Morning. Completely forgot to do my uh, intro video this morning. Um, I'm on my way. Somewhere different today. Absolutely chucking it down with rain. But I'm pretty sure it's going to stop and the sun's going to come out at some point. Hopefully when I get there. Uh, so I'm just enjoying a McDonald's coffee. Uh, and I should be there in about 25 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'll see you when I get there. Cheers. Well, it's sat me car for five minutes to wait for the rain to stop. Um, and it's pretty much stopped now. It's 11 o'clock. Although at 12 o'clock it's give, like, I don't know, heavy rain and sun at the same time. So it should be interesting to see what happens there. Um, I've just had my first signal up. And it's uh, a buckle. Um, yep, so see you on the next one. I'm going to be doing the edge. All around the edge of this field to start with. This was a really faint, nice six, deep as well, just a uh, completely toasted mystery coin look, yep, ORX today, next up I think it's a little button or possibly even a, yeah it's a button, rubbish. I don't know if you can see these little animals over there in the distance, but they're llamas. I've done those fields. Tried my best to stroke them, but just like everything else, they just run away. I love llamas. Next up, this looks like a buckle again. Yep. Another old buckle. God, I've got so many of these at home. Next up, I thought these were going to ring pull. It's about 62 on the RX, but it's a... Uh, a fully intact pewter tomback button, I think they're called. Why do we drop stuff? Yep, let's carry on. This one was coming up as an 83 84. Opened it up. This in there look, looks like a key of some sort. Little ditty one. Possibly for, well, who knows. This one was a solid 84, I'm not got it out yet, but you can quite clearly see it's going to be in there. 84, low 80s, mm, don't really like that kind of number, but it feels suspiciously like this is going to be a coin. And it is probably a Vicky half penny with that kind of number. Nice and smooth. Nineteen thirty seven, so George the Fifth. Another little signal. One of those little buttons with four holes. Keep those as well. I've got a little jam jar full of them. This one was a faint ninety three. Right down there. And it looks like yet another one. Not a very good one either. Well, it's been ages since I uh, found a coin. And I think I've just pulled out on this scoop another mystery coin. Completely toasted. Oh, I can just see uh, George III on there facing to the right. It's actually quite pleasant detecting on flat fields for a change. Two signals, both 86s. I've got one in there and one down here, which I already can see is probably a ship off penny. Yeah. Uh, this one is gonna be the same. George Fifth half penny. So two half pennies. This was faint. Deep, completely toasted mystery coin. So many of these on this place. Where's the gold? A little coin ball at the ground. Solid 88, 89. One would think this has to be a coin, but you never know. Oh yeah, look. See the side of it. Big old penny. 
What's betting it's going to be George the Fifth? Oh, what a surprise! How many of these have I found this weekend now? Plenty. This one was a uh, Fate 97, very deep. I've got a feeling it's going to be uh, one of those tokens. I've had a few out of this, uh, off this permission. It could be a cartwheel, but whatever it is, it's, yeah, it's a cartwheel. It is absolutely a ruined. Massive coin, look how thick they are. I found no end of these, but they're always like this. Still, oops. Still a cool find. 1797, that'll be dated. George III. Next signal, it's a bit all over the shop. It's uh, it's just a damaged button, no special. But I noticed there's a couple of bits of pot in the bottom of the hole. Never seen the uh, black and white pottery before. Look at that, it's got a little man on it. Hello. <laughs> this is a uh, solid 92, 93. Got it out of the hole. Pretty deep. Some black cloud brewing over there. But what could this be? It's a really good signal. Oh, the, the silver drought is over. I'll come back to you on this one. Okay, I'm going to uncover it. I'm almost certain it's a Victoria sixpence. But it looks quite uh, decent condition. People are going to cry when they see me rubbing the soil off. I'll do it carefully. Sixpence. Tell you what, that's in really good condition. There's a Victoria. I'm going to clean it up. And I'll get back to you. Just had to run to this tree. It is absolutely swatting it down. I knew it was going to come sooner or later. Massive black cloud just appeared. Uh, yeah, I've had a really slow morning. A few coins, and then literally just had that uh, silver sixpence. Queen Victoria, 1868, I think it was. Uh, so that, uh, yeah, pretty much makes the last 15 hours detecting worth it over the last two days. I'm just going to sit here for five. Can't even have a brew because it's in the car. Uh, wait till this rain stops, and I'll get back on it for a couple more hours. Catch you on the next one. The rain's gone now. Thought I'd have a uh, my lunch break. Although it is about half two, three o'clock, something like that. Then I'm going to uh, <coughs> head off into the uh, the other fields and uh, see what I can find there. So I'll see you in a mo. Change field. It is waterlogged. My GoPro is over there somewhere doing a little uh, little time lapse. Uh, just had this solid eighty six, so it's going to be quid. But, look down there, I think that is going to be some sort of military uh, badge of some kind. And it looks in really good condition as well. That is cool. So it says, um, past Rotary International President. I do enjoy that. Past Rotary International President. Okay. That's me for today. I wear it, but it's broke. Look at that. The sun's finally coming out. My body temperature is uh, rapidly increasing. This place is saturated. Look at that. Just a bloody 2P. I've had... Uh, Loads of uh, 5Ps, 1Ps and stuff. Well, I'm not recording them because I don't want to bore people. A couple of finds here. This was uh, a bit of a dodgy signal, but this looks old to me. Very old. No idea what it is. Possibly uh, a 
the matrix seal of some sort. Really not sure. I'll have to clean that up and have another look. But then I put my pinpointer down over here and it started beeping. And look, is this another dodgy cigarette lighter? Oh, that. Oh, come out. Yeah. Hey, oh. No way. It's my first ever USB stick. I wonder what dodgy contents on there. Two hundred and fifty six megabyte. So it's been there a while then. Huh. So I'll give a little clean. I think that's gonna be a late medieval, possibly Georgian seal matrix. Obviously the seal's gone. I did find something similar. In a field not far from here, it had three of these on these bits Exactly the same as this same design So yeah, that's my guess pretty cool Still chucking at that USB stick I might wear it Just had this up it's coming in at 65 That to me looks uh, looks silver So I'm not sure what this is gonna be yeah I'm, I'd say that's definitely silver. Let's crack this stuff off. See what we've got. Hmm. Whoa, what is this? Hmm. I'm not so sure now. That definitely looks silver though to me. Oh, I'm gonna have to look into this. I'm in the car park field now, taking up a few quids and stuff to uh, pay me petrol. No, this isn't a quid. It's gonna be George third half penny. This was a '93, and there we have it, George the third. Looking to the right, half penny. 1806. That'll be. Jobs are gone. Normally video the button, but look how snazzy this one is. Really pretty. Has it got a shank? No. What a surprise. But still. It's absolutely beautiful now. Sunshine. Warm. I'm going to have to go soon As I've been at it A long time What we got here? I thought it was a 2p but Oh that's interesting I'm going to come back to you on this one Not sure Just coming back to that one As you can see George the second facing to the left so mid 1700s thereabouts just look how nice it is now absolutely perfect I'm going home um, just want to say thanks to all the people who comment every week and uh, leave positive comments and stuff thumbs up subscribes and whatnot yeah it's good be back out next weekend uh, probably only one day uh, depending on weather so yeah maybe I'll bring Sarah with me next week she's been away this weekend so yeah we'll see you soon that's it me done and go home now got to be six o'clock half six something like that uh, I'll go home do a quick round up and then uh, yeah shall see you on the next one Ta-da! This is what I found on Saturday, it's Sunday, sorry. George the third half penny, George the second, crusty mystery coins.
got a cartwheel penny, 1797, George III. Here's a little Victoria sixpence, which is the best thing I've found. Uh, I found this, which I think is a seal, but I could be wrong, matrix seal. I think this is off a, an old guitar, tuning a guitar. Again, could be wrong. Lock, don't know. That little president badge thing. Fast rotary, blah, blah, blah. Look at this, Japanese pottery, little man. Enjoyed that. Usual buttons, quite a lot of buttons for me actually. A couple of keys, modern spender balls. Don't know what that was. Just push to open up and yeah, some buckles, dog tag. And uh, that's my cod liver roll for my broken body. See you next time.